show. I am your hostess with the mostess, Nadeva. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button and share because sharing is caring. We are super excited to have y'all back. And I'm very excited to have these two lovely, beautiful ladies sitting next to me. Yeah. We have DeAsia, our production assistant, slash host, slash director, slash everything else. My left and my right, my right brain. Welcome back to the table, DeAsia. Thank you. How are you? It feels nice. You look it beautiful. Nice. Look at this floral. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And I the tried butterfly. to do, like, you know, something Something came to me. I felt very natural. Oh, my God. I love it. <laughs> thank I you. love it. You Thanks. look amazing. Yes. Oh, thank you, Marvin. <laughs> I love my butterfly, right? Yeah. I just felt like I, I went out in the garden and it just landed on me. No, you look very... Perfect. It's not real, you guys. No butterflies were hurt in the making of this video. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for being back at the table. Thank you. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to have you. I, I, I love to sit in. I good. love to join the conversation. Good, good. <laughs> and we also have Delise, my godmother. Yes. Oh, Miss Delise. She's so. been holding us down. What? So, and did you catch... Yo... Michael can't. Those minion glasses. Uh uh. Uh uh. Delise is the queen. Yes. Delise is the queen of the glasses now. The frames queen. What? Come on yes. now. Yeah. Come through. Come through. Yes. Yeah. How are you, Delise? I am so well. So, I can see clear. Oh, yes, yes, I can yes, see yes, clear now. The rain is gone. All of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mist, the rain, the fog, all of it. All of it. I love it. Yes. But you Excellent. look beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for being back again. It's my honor. I Thank love hanging out with you. Me. Of course. This is We're so much people. fun. No, no. This is so much fun. Uh, oh, God. Well, wait till y'all here. We got some great stuff. We got some great stuff. It's just been a pleasure these last few weeks just sitting here with Delise and, and sharing these moments with her and hearing some of the wonderful wisdom that she has. And now we got Miss Asia sitting with us and she's gonna come in and bring some of her wisdom as well. Um, but we're gonna jump right into it today because we don't have that much time. So today's Diva Table topic is... How many dates do you go on before you bring him home? Ooh. Or them home? Ooh. I hope them and that together. Ooh. Oh yeah, not not like a yeah no 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 me him or her him or her not him her and her or him him and her uh, <laughs> so yes yeah, so, so how many days do you go on before you bring him or her home or visit their house too. Yes. Or visit, and this is not like you know bring him home to you know knock boots. No. This is just to like here come in my space, see how I live, meet the family. Let me cook. Not so much family because they better not have no family. We'll just see how I live. Yeah, meet my family. Huh? I I was living at home with my mama for twenty four years. Oh, right. So it is meet my family. It is meet your hey, family. Hey, hey, Marvin. We we not gonna touch too much on that, all right? I said I said it in shame. All right, I said it in shame. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. I mean, look. It's nothing wrong with it's nothing wrong with my husband had to pluck me. Right, he had to pluck me right about that. That's that, okay, that but that's what he did. And look, now you got you got your own your own space with your husband. Right. You know. And that three um, cats. But yeah, it's like okay. Well, you know what? We've eaten out on a few dates. How about you come back and I would make you a meal? Let's watch a movie. Something mm -hmm. a little bit more intimate, but not intimate. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You know, like we got to have some boundaries and some self-control. Come on, y'all. Oh. But I mean, I do know some other people that maybe would not agree with this. I mean, I know we have some real faith based Christian folks that go through that courtship in the Bible to the T to and the all dates tea. are outside of the home. That's a real thing. Or they don't mean a man a doesn't thing. cross your threshold until he says I do. Then I won't. The fire of hell See? just rushed upon me. when. Well, I'm just hell. saying, yeah, I mean, yeah, I look, I know some people that have dated in the church. I mean, we'll get into it. We'll get into <laughs> it. We got, we have so much to talk about. We're we going to get into it. We're going to try and do it within the confines of the minutes that we have. Yes. But let's move on to this word of the day. The word of the day is denizen. 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 Okay. And that's someone that frequents a place or is admitted the rights of citizenship. So an example of it is such as is denizen of field and forest denizen of field and forest someone that is that frequents a place so denizens of field and forest so i denizen 
Right, that part. I denizen <laughs> my time at the movie theaters. Mm. Because I like to go three times out the week. Okay. 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 So that's what we're, we're going to be trying to use that in this sentence. Um, but we're going to move right along because we're going to do, do something different. I know you guys see this display. You're probably like, I didn't even say anything about it. We opened up with it. But we're going to be doing a featured of a business today, a black-owned business. Yeah. And I am super excited to feature this particular person because she birthed me. <laughs> Mama, get it. My mama. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, big shout out to Miss Juanita Gaddy. And we are going to be featuring her Mary Kay line. She's a senior sales consultant, just won her pink Cadillac. Shout out for the pink Cadillac. I see all oh, yes. those around town. Um, I see them around town. She got, a, she got a new one? Yeah. That's a 2020? Yeah, no. Oh. It's a 2022. Oh, child, that's uh-huh. a new new. She uh-huh. got money. Oh yeah, no, no, that thing is fresh money. off the, fresh <laughs> off the belt. So, I yes. see by the collection. I see by the collection. Right. Yeah, I almost feel like Vanna Black. Yeah, right, see, right, you yeah. Know? yeah. She's I got. She she was able to bring us over some things that we could share with y'all today, <laughs> and you, just to type because I'm gonna do a little demonstration on this as well. But we're sh- we're featuring my mom, who is Juanita Gaddy. You can contact her at 201-757-1700. Her email. Email um, will be displayed below, so feel free to copy that and send her an email. I'm sorry, her website. And go to her website. Place an order today, all right? She's very attentive. She gets, she, you got to see, this woman is phenomenal. She's been able to pivot her business. But I'm going to read a little bit about her. Um, Juanita is a proud, Juanita Gaddy is proud to be cel- celebrating 29 years in Mary Kay Cosmetics. Ooh. Recently, she turned 66 and has never felt so good or looked so young. She's offers She offers personalized service that fits your needs. It could be virtual or face-to-face. Just tell her if you'd like a one-on-one consultation, a party with a friend, or free anti-aging samples. Okay, nice. If you prefer to shop online only or order by email or phone the choice is yours because she can provide like jesus hallelujah she'd love to help you with all or with any or all of your beauty needs contact her today what's the number two zero one seven five seven seventeen hundred. 1700 or you can mm-hmm. e- you can email her which will be displayed below or you can go on her website and place your order today and let me tell you during covid obviously mary Kay was not going door to door with with uh with products so she pivoted and she Good created yeah she created you know my mama too Delise. Mm-hmm. she created um a, a mary Kay mall a virtual mall for all of her clients oh, and consultants wow. mm-hmm. nice. so big shout out to my mother and today what we have going on is we got um this right here is her age defying uh is this the time wise Yes, this is her time wise set that has like the microdermabrasion, you know, to get them dead cells and everything off and all these things. Them deep lines. Yes, and you know, as we get up in our age, you know, we got to start taking care of ours, not just makeup, but also skincare. Mm-hmm. You know, you want to have that youthful, that youthful look, and it's not always black don't crack because I know some blacks that do crack. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, but you know, look, me and Delise, we are women of a certain age. Same thing with the Asia, and we here, not a wrinkle. You're getting full scale of beauty right here. You're yeah. getting all age brackets yeah. right now. You're uh-huh. seeing it. Absolutely. It doesn't falter. That's right. Yeah. Then we also have a satin hands, which Steve Harvey swears by. He loves some satin hands. Um, so definitely this is for men and for women. You ladies with the satin hands, this is this stuff will make you look make your hands and your feet like butter. And we're gonna show you a quick display very quickly. Two other products that I use for my hands. I ran across this. Uh, by a manicurist of mine. This is my favorite thing. Mary Kay makes it. It's called Satin Hands Hand Cream. Real simple. This is the best thing I've ever seen. I take a shot of that right there. Get it in like that. Da, 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 rub it in like that. Get it in there. Now rub it all in between your, your crevices so you can stop having them white cracks on your skin. Then you get ready to touch your girl and your hand feel like a shoe. <laughs> then for my lips. <laughs> uh, Mary Kay satin lips. Woo! Yeah. 
You saw that's what happened. <laughs> Once I put this on my lip, I start tearing stuff up. <laughs> Things start falling around here. Also going to be doing, um, we also have an acne treatment um, that Mary Kay provides, and this to me is like, and I've never had an acne problem, but I could only go by the testimonials from my mother's customers, and they live by this. So they eat this up, especially these young girls when they hit that puberty stage. They say, forget, what's that, proxy? Proactive. Proactive. Mm -hmm. They want this Mary Kay set, okay? And then, of course, we have more of an exfoliant right here, which is a brush that this is amazing. This right here is amazing. And then in the front, we also have a basket that she created. So you can kind of see some of the packaging and the baskets that she creates and hand delivers most times, or she can ship it over to you. But she's extremely creative. She'll put in anything. She can custom make it for you um, with whatever you order. <laughs> so please be sure to reach out to her today. And we're going to just do a quick little run through real quick. Okay. And I'm no, going to show you I how needed it's this. working. I needed this. Can so, I be the model? Yes, uh, yes. Uh. Mama so Gaddy this is the satin one. hand scrub, okay? This is almost like it's a sandy thing. <laughs> <laughs> the product is for, for show only. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's for okay. show. Am I going to rub, rub this yes, my hands together? together? Got it. Ooh, the jewelry. Yes, you're going to rub okay. that together. It feels like a scrub. Ooh, yes. all the tiny little beads. It's definitely scrub. Ooh. Okay. Do mine, too. Is it like a two-minute scrub? Is there something of a time limit here, or do you just scrub to your heart? You know, desire? you just scrub, scrub, scrub. I okay. like that. You're going to rub it in, rub it in okay. real good, getting all your joints and everything, yep. getting on your joints, okay? All right, mm. get it all in there, get it all in there. Now, remember, Will, um, Will Smith, um, Steve <laughs> Harvey loves this stuff. Okay. Now, we're going to cut for two seconds, and, and then you have to wash your hands. Once you get this... Nice and smooth in, nice and nice. You're gonna rub it all in, make sure you get all the creases and crevices. Now give us two seconds, we're gonna wash this off. All right, y'all, so now we back. We have washed off our scrub, off our hand. Now we're gonna take the emollient cream, which looks like this, and we're gonna put this on next. You only have to put a little bit on, because a little goes a long way. Okay. Little goes a long way. Ooh, looks like butter. Yeah. And then, once you rub that in, you're going to put this on top of there. Oh, I like that smell, honey. Put that on there. Talk about aromatherapy, you guys. Put a little bit in there, there. <laughs> and put a little in there. Oh, God. It's like a, uh, a cucumber melon. Yeah. Oh, I, love I love it. That. Yes. I'm interested in knowing when I leave today, can I take this? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I wasn't the yeah. only one. I was like, Mama Gaddy. <laughs> Mama Gaddy. I'm telling you. She, yeah. Listen, let me tell you. This satin hand is everything. So I just wanted to demonstrate that. How does that feel? Oh, it's my skin Ooh. feels so soft yeah. and supple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like I like yeah. I like the supple part. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was nice. Yeah, that, you think this would be over the top for when he comes home? Oh no, no, no? you would do mm -hmm. this on his hands. Yeah. I would do that on somebody's feet. Well, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, now Delise getting in the groove. She getting in the groove. Right. She yeah. been here. She been here for four weeks. She know what it yeah. is. Now. She know what it is. <laughs> 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 yes, well, y'all want to make sure you get your hands on this satin hands right here and everything else that we have displayed here and also on her website. You don't want to miss this. People be sleeping on Mary Kay, but let me tell you, it's one of the top cosmetic companies around since the 1950s, y'all. So we got a lot of top black directors coming out of this company, company, so please be sure to support. Don't forget, her name is Juanita Gaddy. You can contact her at 201-757-1700. Thank you, Mother, for all your contributions to the show. I get it from my mama. I love you. All right, so we're going to be right back because we literally got four minutes or five minutes to talk about this topic. We'll be right back. All right, and we're back. Nice and smooth and right. Yes, yes. I don't know. This is something about somebody when they have rough hands. I don't like that. You know, the eagle claw. Get you. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, right. no, 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 no. So but they, my if hands, they got so... the eagle claw, they ain't yeah. coming home. They ain't yeah. Yeah. No. 
No, you mm. won't have a little setup no. station for no, the No, you know, like somebody like give you a nice little rub and it hits ooh, a snag on your skin. Ooh. Yeah, I don't like that. First off, don't snag my clothing with your eagle claw. No, don't do don't, that. Don't do yeah. that. No, don't get do that dead skin off. Mm-mm. All right, so look, we got to jump right in because Marvin is clocking us. Mm-hmm. All right, so today's topic is how many dates do you go on before you bring them home? How many dates do you go on before you go before you bring them? I am going to let y'all lead on this one. So go ahead. I really think it depends on the chemistry between you and the individual. I don't think that you could put a timeline on it. I don't think you could say, oh, I need to go on nine dates. I need to go on eight dates. I need to go on four dates. I think it's all about the level of comfortability. Yeah. How you feel, what your chemistry is like. The do vibe. You, do you know, do you trust the initial vibe mm. that you and this person yeah. have? Do you have good conversation? Do you feel safe? Yeah. Is it you healthy? Know? Right, right. Is it healthy? Is right? it healthy? And do I know enough about him? Like, so I don't need to know, like, oh, from 1972 to 1979, yeah. you were working at, you know, all of that stuff will come. Right. But do I feel safe with you? Do I feel like I can trust you. Mm-hmm. Um, do I even want you in my space? Right. Mm-hmm. Do you trust that you he know? won't wear his welcome to the point where you have to ask him to leave? Right, right. Do you trust he don't got a second life on the other hand? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, yeah, and then what do I want from this? Like, yeah. if, if, do I see any longevity of this relationship? Is it going somewhere? Is it just somebody I'm just chilling and hanging out with? Maybe I might not want them in my in my house. You right. know, you meet me at Starbucks, meet mm-hmm. me at a restaurant, or even come and pick me up. I do, right, know? right, right. Those things are okay too. But you, but I don't your think kids also are grown. Line. Yeah, your children are grown. Right. So you have your own space. Uh, right. Your right. own. So, but do you think that would? be different for you if your kids were still in the house like still living in so when my children were younger i did not date in my house okay because i didn't want my children to grow up and say we had a lot of uncles (laughs) (laughs) because that was a term that we you know yeah Yeah. this is uncle so-and-so and and that's uncle and i just didn't want my children growing up saying that i had so many different men in their space or whatever so i dated outside my home okay and if i felt like i wanted to bring someone over then i made arrangements for my children to be elsewhere gotcha so that they didn't see different people because you can connect with someone think that it's going to be one thing Yep. and not be what you think mm. and then you move on yeah. right and so you but move the kids on, don't move but the on kids don't they move gonna be like on. what happened to uncle right, right. <laughs> uncle we got Sean uncle. was yeah. my favorite dad dude. we got a lot of uncles mommy yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know. I don't see none of their baby pictures you know just <laughs> yeah. so I'm really key on uh, just the chemistry yeah you know, and timing. And the vibe between you and that individual, you know? Yeah. It doesn't have to be... You can't put a time stamp on it. Two months. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, because two months, you may not be feeling it. Right. Like, what if you, that person worked a lot or you worked a lot and your schedules never... You Availability. Know, right. They yeah. never synced. Exactly. Yeah. And so now it's three months, but you would have invited that person over after two weeks mm-hmm. because it was it was the a chemistry great connection. Was, right. Yes, right. Well, so. Talk about the chemistry. I feel like yeah. that's the main thing because... Me and my husband, my husband and I, we we didn't, well, let's just say it was more so me. Um, nobody knew about him until right. we were dating for about oh. Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, this is true, Earl. <laughs> Speak up. <laughs> nobody knew about him until I think Easter. We started dating in November. Okay. Oh, and wow. nobody knew about him until Easter. Mm-hmm. And that was my way of showing everybody, like, yeah, we're going to Easter Sunday. He said, Easter Sunday? He said, do I need to wear a suit? I said, no suit. Maybe a Bill Cosby cardigan <laughs> or, or one, of them, one of them Kooji sweaters, baby. But no, nothing nothing too, too flashy. Right. right. Because I'm bringing you to my family. And mm-hmm. Easter summer, uh, Easter Sunday for us mm-hmm. is a big event. Right. I mean, top to bottom. We are we are done up to the letter. We're having right. Sunday dinner. We're having we're right. there's, there's together, so much just re- connecting, just and connecting and over resurrection right. exactly. Mm. And I was like, babe, this is the time I'm going to finally you know pluck your card. Mm, it's your time. I choose you. Like mm. <laughs> I need I need you to show up and show out. Yeah. I mm-hmm. need you to be my counterpart. And that was only from the feeling. That had to be like a four month gap. That was a four or right. five month gap. And he was looking at it like, oh, she don't want to tell nobody about me. And I was right. just like, no, I'm actually worried about what people right. are going to say to you. Mm-hmm. Right. And I'm vetting you. Yeah, exactly. Of course. Right. Exactly. I'm trying to see you in as many seasons as I possibly can exactly. before I bring you to my family. 
Okay. I just didn't want you to be a part of my family's pillory. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. She got the pillory. Exactly. You know. <laughs> I agree with you 100%. Right. Yeah. You know, keep it with God. I think it's mostly, it, it would definitely uh, steer you in the right direction. Absolutely. Uh, if, you, if you're having second thoughts of bringing someone home, Check in with your higher self, you know. Right. Yeah. See, see what's mm-hmm. going on in there. Well, let's see what Proverbs said because yes. that's what you know. I had to go into that into that passage for that for this because I think we need some uh, good proverb word on it. Yes. But Proverbs nineteen two says, "Desire <laughs> without knowledge is not good, and whoever makes haste with his feet misses his way." So that to me in a nutshell, you can interpret it how you want to interpret it. I know how I want to interpret it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want my knowledge. Okay? Right. Basically I'll, slow your roll. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Don't, don't jump just into jump in. Mm-hmm. Right. Jump off that. Know cliff, what you're you getting fall. into. And um know that know when it's the right time. And it will be all good, you know? But um, this was a great topic, y'all. It, sure was. it was really good. Yes. Y'all had some good things to share. Um, thank you, Marvin, for the extra time. But you guys, please comment. Um, we want to hear from you. Shout out to my mom for her feature today. Miss Juanita Gaddy, Gaddy, Gaddy from Mary Kay. Um, but we got to cut out of here. We got to run. So please be sure to like, subscribe, share, because sharing is caring. And also be sure to check us out every Wednesday at 7 p.m. on the Inspire Living Network on Sunday. Also on YouTube at 8 p.m. But we got to get out of here, y'all. Marvin is kicking us out. Is that how I look behind the, behind the window with the helicopter? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You don't sound so angry, though. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, a little he's yelling angry. at us I right now. It, okay. Well, it's all right. We still love him also with the love of the Lord, but it's because of the Lord that we love him. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we love y'all too. So thank you so much for joining us. But until the next time, stay. Goodbye. Thank you once again for tuning in to the Dining with Nadiva show. Make sure to check us out on all the audio platforms like Spotify, Apple, Amazon. Tune in. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.